Hi, I'm Shane from BDD's Performance, and we're back here talking about iron horn turbochargers again. So if you remember, in our last installment, we talked about how to size your iron horn on your 6.7 Cummins Dodge. Uh, great. I don't got a 6.7, I've got a 5.9. Well, this video is for you. Let's uh, watch along. The first choice you have to make is, do you want an S400 or a wastegate? Yeah? Great. We have run these sweet turbo kits called Rumble Bees. Uh, they come with a S400, uh, and you can run a gate on them, big power. They're also a bit more money. And you say, well, OK, that's great. That's great. I like that. And I like that it's T4. Well, perfect. What if I told you I could get you an S300 in our iron horn kits with a T4 manifold, for the low, low price of approximately $1,650 to $1,800 USD, depending on your package. And you go, well, that sounds pretty good. Well, here we go. This is how you're going to size an iron horn turbo kit for your truck. First thing is, we've got to decide what sort of horsepower we're looking for. Do we want stock-ish horsepower levels? Uh, you know, I've bought this U59. It's getting a little tired. I want it to you know, have a bit more power. But I tow with it all the time, and I don't want to like, start wrecking parts. Perfect. We're going to aim you towards the S361 kit. This is good for the stockish power level guys. Uh, it's good with stock injectors or even a small injector in a tune. This will be still a totally good charger. Worth noting is this is a great upgrade turbocharger for the early common rail guys, the 0304 guys. Due to the injector and the bowl design on those trucks uh, and the smaller turbo they had from factory, uh, they don't put out the horsepower like the high output engines or the, the 05 and newer trucks did. So this is a, it's a great place to go for the early trucks. Uh, okay, so great. So you're like, okay, well, that's a good to know. But, you know, stockish power levels are sort of boring. So this is a push up towards 575 horse. Perfect. Great. This is where the S363 charger takes over. And uh, this is where we would recommend injectors. Uh, though, on, although not totally required if you have an 05 uh, and an up truck. You remember the high output, again, makes a bit more power, came with a little bit bigger turbocharger from factory. That's where this is going to be happy on that 05 plus truck. Great. This charger, you'll still be able to tow with. You know, it's good for towing. Um, this would be sort of where it's a bit of a hot rod, but you can still use it like your one ton truck. Great. But you know your buddies, they all think that 575 horsepower is like yesterday's news. And their 6.7 something something makes all sorts of horsepower. Great. Moving on. So we're looking to make 600 horse. Perfect. We're going to get you this S364 charger kit. Uh, it comes with the increased power. We're going to make more power with this turbo. But you're going to need bigger injectors. Uh, you could use. Uh, a bigger CP3 pump, but you don't need it here, per se. Um, this kit, light towing. Uh, if you're doing more towing, I'd probably slide you back to the 363. But light towing charger, this is great. Uh, this is a real, uh, this area, real meat and potatoes for the 5.9 Dodge. I mean, you got an early 5.9, 361, 363, right? You got a later 5.9, like 05 plus. That's where this 63, 64 is, right? This is the meat, but great. You're like, I don't like meat and potatoes. I like spicy Thai food. Great. Well, we're going to move you up to this 625 horsepower range. Now, this is where it starts to get fun, right? We're talking the S366 turbocharger on your truck. This is high performance. You're going to want injectors. You're going to want a pump or a dual CP3 kit, like our Venom kit or our 900 stroker pumps. This is going to work great with a set of injectors and a tune. Uh, big power. We're going to be 625 horsepower for like 1750 bucks. Like, how can you go wrong with that, right? That's killer. But then you tell me, Shane, you only live once, and your 5.9 Dodge isn't getting any younger, so you better just send it all the way, right? Perfect. We're going past 625 horsepower. We're going to the moon and back. We're going to take the S369 turbo kit. You want to talk about horsepower per dollar. This is the extreme performance kit. This gets you uh, big horsepower. Uh, you're going to need injectors and a pump with this for sure. This is where you're going to be towing ghost trailers. You're not going to be wanting to tow on any big trailer. You're going to pop your tow mirrors out and tow them ghost trailers all day long with this kit. Uh, here at BD, we call this the John K, you know, for a guy that likes to drive around with this big charger. 
I know we've got a lot of information going on here, but to, just to briefly review, if you've got an early 0304 59 Cummins truck, the 361 to 363 kit is going to be great for you. 361 if you've got stock injectors, 363 if you've got a small injector on that and you're making a little bit more power. If you've got the high output engine or the 05 plus trucks, it's going to be the 363 with the stock injectors, push it on up to the 364 if you have a small injector on the truck and a little bit of a tune. Again, this is a great meat and potato spot. To find out more about our iron horn kits or to see our other products available to go along with them, go to our website at bddiesel.com.